Turn on answer. Working note number one. Calculation of retained earning. In that sales into net profit ratio into retention ratio sales kitna hoga 600 lakhs plus 20 percentage so it is 720 lakhs net profit ratio is 4 percentage that comes to 28 lakh 80 thousand Question में दिया का dividend payout ratio is 50 percentage. So the retention ratio is remaining 50 percentage. So 14 lakh 40 thousand. Next. Calculation of external funds requirement in that total assets into 20% minus payable and provision into 20 percentage minus retained earning total assets into 20 percent itna humko additional investment business mein karna hai that comes to 280 lakhs Payable and provisions abhi 200 lakh hai. Again, usme 20% automatically increase ho jayega. That is 40 lakhs. And we are having say the retail earning of 14 lakh 40 thousand. So 280 minus 4040 minus 14.4 that comes to 225.6 please take down answer second part of the question second part of the question may sa pucha hai that what is the amount to be raised from short term loan from long term loan and from equity funds so we understand that say working note number one calculation of amount of short term loan so that short term loan and payable and provision is in the ratio of 4 is to 3. So that sales to short term loan and payable and provision is in the ratio of 4 is to 3.
sales short term loan comma payable and provision it is in the ratio of 4 is to 3 what is the sales value sales value is 720 lakhs so this will be found as balancing figure 720 lakhs into 3 divided by 4 so in that case 720 into 3 divided by 4 540 so short term loan comma payable and provision should be 540 lakhs less current short term loan it is 300 lakhs less current payable and provision it is 200 lakhs plus 20 percentage that comes to 240 lakhs so the total should be 540 in that say 300 is short term loan and 240 is the payable and provision so we understand that say the additional short term loan which the company can raise is zero. So this is the additional short term loan that can be raised. And that is zero. Next, calculation of additional long term loan to be raised. See question mein humko aisa de rakha hai. Ratio of the fixed asset to long term loan should be 1 is 1.5. So we understand fixed asset divided by long term loan is equal to 1.5. What is the amount of the fixed asset? It is an amount of 600 lakhs jo present hai, plus 600 lakhs into 20 percentage. Itna increase. Divided by kya karenge? Existing long term loan. Plus additional long term loan. is equal to 1.50 okay so 600 plus 20 percent that comes to 720 lakhs divided by existing long term loan is 400 lakhs plus additional long term loan is x is equal to 1.5 400 lakhs plus x is equal to 720 lakhs upon 1.5 x is equal to 720 divided by 1.5 that is 480 
minus 400 lakhs. That comes to 80 lakhs. Any hum log additional long term loan kitra le sakte hain 80 lakhs ka. Next. Calculation of amount of equity funds. In that we can understand external funds requirement which we have already calculated that is 225.6 plus 225 that is divided into three parts short term loan long term loan and equity funds So the amount of short term loan is zero. Amount of long term loan is 80 lakhs. And this is the equity funds. So it is 225.6 minus zero minus 80 lakhs. That is how we will make the calculation of the amount of the equity funds. 225.6 minus 80. That is 145.6. Next. Calculation of debt equity ratio in that write down we assume that debt equals to long term debt so in that we will work out the answer like this. Long term debt divided by equity. So long term debt mein abhi kitra hai 400 lakhs hai. Naya humne kitra liya hai 80 lakhs liya hai divided by equity usme existing share capital kitna hai 300 lakh reserves and surplus kitna hai 200 lakh then additional equity share capital kitna hum log issue karenge 145.6 aur reserves and surplus kitna add hoga 14.4 So 480 lakhs upon it is 300 plus 200 plus 145.6 plus 14.4 that comes to 660 lakhs. So 480 upon 660 that comes to 0.72. And we have a limit of 1.5. So absolutely there is no issue. We can raise the financing in this way. So that with paragraph. About that equity ratio. Is within. 1.50 comma so the company should raise financing as above full stop 
as above means like this. Friends, यहाँ पे हम लोग डेट इक्विटी रेशो इसलिए कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं सो जस्ट टू एंश्योर कि जो हमने ऊपर का फाइनेंसिंग पैटर्न बोला है वो फाइनेंसिंग पैटर्न से उनका डेट इक्विटी रेशो वही लिमिट में रहे जो उनको चाहिए दैट इज द रीजन एज अ मैटर ऑफ से लाइक पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन से वी आर मेकिंग द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द डेट इक्विटी रेशो सो समरी ऑफ द एंटायर क्वेश्चन Uh, सबसे पहले वर्किंग नोट में हमने कैलकुलेट किया रिटेन अर्निंग दैट इज फोर्टीन लाख फोर्टी थाउजेंड सेकेंड में हमने ऐसा अज्यूम किया है दैट द कंपनी इज वर्किंग एट हंड्रेड परसेंट कैपेसिटी तो सेल्स बढ़ने के साथ साथ हमारा असेट्स भी बढ़ेगा साथ साथ में हमारा करंट लाइब्रिटीज भी बढ़ेगा वी हैव द रिजर्स एंड सरप्लस सो द एक्सटर्नल फंड रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू ट्वेंटी फिर कितना शॉर्ट टर्म लोन हम लोग रेज कर पाएंगे से उसका हमने कैलकुलेशन किया ये शॉर्ट टर्म लोन रेज करने का कोई भी स्कोप नहीं है कितना लॉन्ग टर्म लोन लेंगे से उसके लिए जो हमको रेशियो दे रखा है उस हिसाब से हमने कैलकुलेट किया है दैट से दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ द लॉन्ग टर्म लोन दैट से वी आर गोइंग टू रेस और क्या होगा बाकी का हम लोग इक्विटी फाइनेंसिंग रेज करेंगे सो द अमाउंट ऑफ द इक्विटी फाइनेंसिंग दैट से वी आर गोइंग टू रेस विल बी फाउंड लाइक दिस एज बैलेंसिंग फिगर दिस इज फाउंड एज बैलेंसिंग फिगर Uh, फिर हमने चेक कर दिया कि डेट इक्विटी रेशियो जो है वो पॉइंट सेवेंटी टू विद इन वन पॉइंट फाइव है ऐसा करके वी हैव गिवन द आंसर 